Welcome back guys, today we are making layered cocktails. Just look at those beautiful drinks. So the way that this works is that different liquids have different densities. So typically uh, syrups or liqueurs with higher sugar will sink to the bottom, whereas uh, spirits with higher ABV or maybe or cream that has air in it will float to the top. So using this, you can create a variety of layers in your cocktails. Now this technique obviously creates some stunning cocktails visually, but personally I believe that a layered cocktail should also enhance the enjoyment of the cocktail. It should it should be it should taste better. It should should be more of an experience as you're drinking it. So today we're going to make four layered cocktails and you'll see the two of them kind of follow my philosophy and the others do not. So let's jump right into it. Now this first one here is called La Dominicana and I've actually made it before during my homemade coffee liqueur episodes. You can check that out. And it's basically a rum version of a white Russian. So we're going to start with an ounce and a half of an aged rum. Uh, I'm using Havana Club seven year old, but any dark aged rum will work really nicely. And that's what makes this drink so much better than a white Russian is it's got flavor to it. White Russian with vodka, there's no flavor there. <laughs> so with rum, we're gonna have a really rich flavor. After that, we're gonna do ounce and a half, same amount of our coffee liqueur. Use whatever you have. This is my own homemade. Uh, it's sweetness wise, it's kind of in the middle of like Mr. Black and Kahlua, but use whichever one you want. If you are using something drier like Mr. Black, maybe add a little bit of simple syrup to sweeten it up because it's gonna be the only sweetness in this drink. All right, we're adding ice to our mixing glass. We're gonna give this a stir. It's a stirred drink at this point because there's only two ingredients in there. It's only rum and our coffee liqueur, so we don't need to shake it up. Just to give it a good 10, 15 second stir to chill everything, dilute a little bit. We're gonna get our uh, glass here, just a nice, uh, Nice stemmed glass, whatever you got. These are just from a thrift store. I love getting glass at thrift store, the best. All right, pour, but you gotta leave a little wash line. You gotta leave a good at the top there because we're adding some lightly whipped cream. This is just heavy cream that's been whipped a little bit. And I think I whipped it a little too much because it is a little thick. We want it aerated so that it will, um, it will float on top. That's what's gonna give us that layer. But I may have overdone it here. You don't need it that thick, <laughs> but this will work out. All right, so just layer on that cream. Looks beautiful. Look at that, all right. And for garnish, we're just gonna dust some nutmeg on there. As David from Booze on the Rock would say, that's the bartender's cocaine. <laughs> so a little bit of nutmeg, and there it is, La Dominicana. Uh, just a fantastic drink. Like I said, I've made this before. It's really good. It's like a white Russian, but, uh, but with rum. All right, sticking with the rum, we are making the dark and stormy next. So this is, we're following the official recipe on the Gosling's Black Seal Rum website. All right, so we're starting with a highball glass filled with ice and look at that, I have a Millennium Falcon uh, bottle opener and, <laughs> and it doesn't work very well. Oh boy, yeah, hard to grip. <laughs> Whoa, that's disappointing. Oh well, we got it open. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop about four to five ounces of ginger beer into your glass. Um, you want to go up about 75, 80% of the glass. There, that's about right. Okay, this is the way they make it. I, find, I always find it weird, but it will give us that nice layer, which is what uh, Gosling's wants you to do. So after that, we're gonna take an ounce and a half. They say an ounce and a half. I typically do two, but uh, again, we're going by the official Gosling um, instructions. Ounce and a half of the Black Seal rum. And then we're going to use our bar spoon again and slowly layer it on top of that ginger beer. And it should create that nice layering, layering effect. There it is, looks nice. So I find this kind of weird because you really have to gauge how much ginger beer, because otherwise you might not reach, I did pretty well there, I reached the top of the glass. And we're gonna garnish with uh, a lemon. Um, the official recipe doesn't actually say lemon juice. I always add a little bit of lemon juice, but uh, you could squirt it on if you wanted. But that's the way that Gosling's makes it. So there it is, the dark and stormy, uh, basically a rum mule, but this one specifically calls for Gosling's Black Seal Rum, legally. <laughs> Moving on, we're doing the New York Sour without egg white, or also called the Brunswick cocktail. I made a short about this one recently. It's one of my favorites. We're gonna go with Canadian ingredients right now. This is um, a local corn whiskey, cask strength at 64%, but honestly use any whiskey you want. We're basically making a sour here with no egg white. So two ounces of our whiskey, um, literally any whiskey. But this is last straw, cask strength corn whiskey 
it's beautiful. It's really, really good. Um, after that, we're gonna do three quarter ounce of, oh, three quarter to an ounce. I like to have it pretty sour, but uh, lemon juice. And then we're only gonna do half an ounce of simple syrup. Um, I don't like my sours too sweet, but also we're layering some red wine, some sweet, sweet red wine. So um, yeah, you don't need to put too much simple syrup in this sour. All right, ice, flippy move. We're gonna give this one a good shake. 10, 15 seconds. Okay, looking good. All right, we're serving this guy in a rocks glass, been chilling there. We're gonna do a straight dump. Um, I do a straight dump here, and then if I need extra ice, I always just I just add in another cube. But eh, what's the point of wasting fresh ice? After that, we're gonna take your favorite red wine. I've got a local Sandbanks uh, Baco Noir, and we're using again using the back of the spoon. We're going to layer that on top as little or as much as you want. I like a good amount of red wine. I really like that contrast. And uh, there it is. There is our New York sour without egg white Brunswick cocktails. It's sometimes called what the. It just imploded on itself. Look, <laughs> the ice shifted. I, that has never happened. I make this drink all the time. That has never happened. That's hilarious. Oh, I'm gonna have to make another one now. All right, let's move on. Okay, we're now we've got some Empress Gin. That is a uh, purple gin using butterfly pea blossom, and we're gonna make a Royal Hawaiian. Uh, now there is actually a few another a drink called the Royal Hawaiian that just uses regular um, regular gin. It's not layered, but this one here is layered because we're using that special uh, Empress Gin. So we're starting by building the base. We have an ounce of pineapple juice followed by half an ounce of lemon juice and half an ounce of orgeat syrup. So that's the base of our drink. Then we're gonna layer the gin on top. Okay, so it is a crushed ice drink, kind of a tropical drink. So a bit of crushed ice, flippy move, shaky shaky, just a nice quick whip shake. That's all we need. All right, we're serving a tall glass. I'm gonna use kind of a hurricane glass here, but whatever you, tall glass you want, we're pouring that in. We're gonna add a little bit of crushed ice on the top. There we go. And then we're gonna, I like to garnish first because if you try to garnish afterwards, uh, and add your straw. We, we got some pineapple fronds here. If you try to garnish after layering, you might mess up the layering. So I always garnish at this point. And then what we do is we're gonna take an ounce and a half of our Empress Purple Gin, and we're going to slowly layer it on top. Now, because we have the ice as a, as a barrier, you don't need to use your bar spoon here. Just, just slowly pour it on, and it'll create those nice layers for you. Look at that. I have to admit this, and you can top off with a little ice if you want, but this is a stunning looking drink. It looks absolutely beautiful. Um, all right, so we've got our four layered cocktails and let's get to tasting them. And I will tell you which ones I like and which ones I don't. So this is La Dominicana and wow, it's so good. I mean, it's I love drinking through the cream and then getting the rum and the coffee. It's so good. It is similar in experience to an Irish coffee. Uh, obviously that one is warm, but uh, it, yeah, very, very good cocktail and it, the layering works. All right, next up, dark and stormy. Here's the problem with this one. If you drink through the straw, it's just ginger beer. And if you sip it from the rim, it's pure rum. So this layering does not work. You gotta mix it first. See, I gotta kind of do this and mix it up. Otherwise it's, yeah, no, it doesn't work. Now it's now it's great. It's basically a rum mule. You know, it's ginger beer and rum. Um, I usually add a little bit of lime, but the gosling recipe says no, but yeah. It's, you know, it's kind of dumb. All right, next up, the New York Sour or the Brunswick cocktail. Oh, that's so good. You get the you get the, the sweet red wine uh, up front and then that whiskey uh, sour, the whiskey flavor hits afterwards. This one works. The first few sips are amazing, uh, tasting through those layers. Um, eventually it will mix together, but those first few sips, man, it's so good. So this one definitely works with the layering. Wow, so good. All right, the Royal Hawaiian, the last one. So this one here is another example of, of not working um, because that top layer is pure gin. So if you're drinking from the top, you're getting pure gin. I know it, it's, it looks purple, looks sweet, but it's it's gin. <laughs> it's Mix it first. And the other the funny thing about this one is it looks beautiful pre-mixed, but once you mix it up, it literally turns gray. Yeah, look at that, it's gray. It's ugly as hell. <laughs> All right, there it is, guys. Four layered cocktails, two that work, 
that actually enhance the enjoyment, and two that, well, they you know they just look pretty. They look pretty, but you got to mix them before drinking, otherwise it just doesn't work. Um, what are your favorite layered cocktails? Are there any that we didn't make here? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff, and we will see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.